Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Timmy Triggle, and here's yet another movie review for you guys. <clears throat> the next movie I'm going to be talking about is The Last Song. It was released on March 31st, 2010. It is a coming-of-age romantic drama that received mixed to negative reviews with critics and fans. It has a 5.9 out of 10 on IMDb, a 20% on Rotten Tomatoes, and a 95% on Google. Um... This is the directorial debut of Julie A. Robinson, and it was written by Jeff Van Wee and Nicholas Sparks. And despite the 20% on Rotten Tomatoes, on the $20 million budget, it made $89 million at the box office. So quadrupled it, its budget. It stars Miley Cyrus, Liam Hemsworth, Kelly Preston, and Greg Kinnear. Uh, this movie was also nominated for 18 Choice uh, awards and one kids choice award it's about um, divorced parents uh, Kim and Steve uh, who have two kids uh, the oldest Veronica played by Miley Cyrus uh, goes to live with him for the summer uh, not knowing that he is carrying around a secret uh, that is not revealed till later on in the movie I won't spoil what it is all I gotta say is bring some tissues, but uh, this, I really enjoyed this movie. Um, I highly uh, disagree with Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, I thought the movie was really heartwarming. I really cared about the characters, especially the relationship between uh, daughter and father. Um, because fathers and daughters, those relationships are unlike any other. Uh, just like, you know, you have your mama's boys. It's the same thing with fathers and daughters. And you can really feel their connection. Their, uh, the, the way they work off each other is great in this movie. Uh, Lee Hemsworth uh, is pretty good as well. Uh, he plays Will, a love interest to Veronica. And then, of course, you have Kim, played by Kelly Preston, who is the mother. Uh, we don't get to see a whole lot of her. Uh, the main focus is on the summertime with the father and two kids. There's a rumor going around the town that the father uh, burned down the church. Uh, so that's not good. Veronica has a checker pass too. That comes to light later on in the movie. But overall, this is a fun coming-of-age uh, teen drama. I enjoyed it for what it is. Um, I actually love, I love Miley Cyrus. Uh, singing, and I like her acting. Never really watched Hannah Montana, but when she's in films or TV, like she made a guest appearance on Two and a Half Men, I thought she was great. But, uh, yeah, this is just a short, simple movie. Uh, the third act really hit me. And, uh, yeah, this, this is a really good movie solid so i'm gonna give the last song a seven out of ten and two thumbs up so definitely check this movie out um like i said i love the characters uh, especially the father and daughter just just amazing in the comment section below if you've seen the movie like i said give me your thoughts and opinions and uh what are some of your favorite miley cyrus movies uh this one would probably be up there i don't know if i've seen any more of hers uh, I would have to check, but uh, this was loads of fun. So, um, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon on your way out so you get all notifications. If you like this, give it a thumbs up and share the video with all your on your social media with your family and friends. And as always, I thank you for watching and check you later.